the second type of asset, why do you want to create this social asset? Because ultimately, why are you making that post on Instagram, on Facebook? Why are you turning it into a long form post? What's the purpose of all of that? Is so that you can utilize that to fuel your second asset, which is the digital asset. Everyone say digital asset. Okay, thank you. So what is the purpose of a digital asset? The digital asset is your sales process. It's your sales funnel. It is your membership site. It is your digital product. Ultimately, the reason why you're creating that presence on social media is so that you can use it to fuel number two, right? The digital asset. Now, the way to think about the digital asset is to think about everything that you are doing right now where you are trading time for money and how can you actually turn that into an asset that lives on forever. So asset number two, when it comes to the digital asset, um, how I think about everything that I do is how can I take what I'm doing right now and turn it into something that lives on forever? This is a, con a question that I ask myself pretty much every single day. Before I stepped in this room, I'm thinking, how would this event here be turned into a digital asset that will work for me forever? When I'm doing the round tables at Funnel Hacking, I'm thinking about the same thing. How would this round table session be turned into a digital asset that works for me forever? When I'm doing my coaching calls, I'm, doing, I'm thinking about the same thing. How can I take these coaching calls and turn them into a digital asset that works for me forever? Okay, so to give you a, uh, uh, this understanding of this next piece, um, so remember I was talking about that ad platform closing promoting this book. Now, how many of you here, um, you have a book published? Show of hands, you have a book published. Okay, thank you. Now, my first book that I published, um, which was about seven years ago, took me about two years to write. And even after writing and publishing it, I actually hated it. I, tr I, I had this entire perfectionist mindset. I wanted it to be perfect. I hired like three different ghost, ghost writers. I didn't like their style. And ultimately, it was never, when it was published, I still didn't like it because I felt like it was not my voice. And I was, it wasn't something I was proud of. Now, this book over here is a book that I am proud of. And you know how long it took me to write this book? About two and a half hours. Okay? <laughs> And the reason for that was because I spoke my book. I took a, tr a presentation that I did at a live event that I feel was on point. And I took this presentation and I gave it to my writer from my team. And I said, I would like you to turn this into a framework and take my presentation and turn that into a book. Now this book, I'm very proud of. Now this book over here then became a free plus shipping funnel. And this is a two comma club funnel, right? Just this one thing that I did once in my life. Same thing here, same thing for content multiplier formula. Many of you here have read this book. How did this book start, be begin? It was really from that one keynote speech that I did in 2018. And that one thing was turned into a booklet that became a done with you together with a recurring on the back end. Um, which is also a two comma club funnel. So I'm always thinking about how can I take this thing and turn it into a digital asset that works for me forever. Um, every single thing, if you take a look at all of my funnels, this is something that I have done by really observing Russell. Now, if you take a look at what Russell does when it comes to live events, you will see the same thing. Notice that the live events that Russell sells, aside from Funnel Hacking Live, in most cases, he will do it once and he will never do it again. So back then, he would have dot-com secrets. He did a live event on webinars. What did he turn that into? Into the perfect webinar product. He did um, Funnel Hackathon, right? A couple of times. He did it once. The first one was himself and after that, he did it two more times with other coaches. And after, what did he do? He turned that into an upsell for one of his funnels. Same thing with um, Expert Secrets. There was a live event that came along with it. Same thing that he's going to do with, with Traffic Secrets, right? 
Now, one of the things that I do every single time is, I would like you guys to write this down. How can I turn what is important to critical? Okay, how can I turn what is important to critical? Now, chances are, if I were to ask you to list a bunch of important things that you know you need to do, and if you wrote down like 27 things, how many things do you normally end up doing if you have 27 important things? Zero. Zero, right? That's a good answer. And that's the truth. And the reason is because when you have 27 different things, you get stressed, you get overwhelmed. So you think to yourself, well, let me watch one more episode of Grey's Anatomy <laughs> and I'll get back to doing work, right? So one way to force yourself to get it done is to move the things that is important to critical. And the best way to do it, the way I like to do it, is to commit to a bunch of other people that this certain event, this certain webinar, this certain training, this certain masterclass is happening and sell a few spots. Okay, it doesn't matter how many people, but as long as a few people has paid you money, you know that there's no way you can back out right now. Right, it's too late. So same thing, for this next funnel, um, for a really long time, I wanted to teach people how to run live events. So, and because it was in my list of important things that needs to be done, it was never done. So what did I do? All I did was I committed to a bunch of people, and these were the people in um, Russell's Inner Circle, and I said, I wanna do an event that teaches people how to do live events. How many of you would come if I were to do this live event? So this is an online program that sells for $2,000 and it was based upon this one-time live event that I did live, which I've never done again, okay? And what did I do from here? So at the event, I'm always thinking, how do I turn this into a digital asset that lasts forever? So I took all of the Q and A's I took all of the training, all of the videos, everything, the testimonials, I created the sizzle reel from it, all of that in one weekend because it becomes a digital asset that lives on forever. Okay, so then the sizzle reel, let me just quickly show you the sizzle reel that was created because this is the process that I want you to start thinking about to what it is that you do for every single thing that you do. I thought we actually had an idea of uh, how to throw good events and monetize on it, but apparently not. Ping June just changed my life. Like, I'm not kidding. I have been stressing about doing a, a live event for a very long time, but I just took 14 pages of notes and I'm walking away with more confidence in a, an event than ever before. It has been a very long time since I've attended something that was this amazing and he gives you these super insightful strategies that I don't think I've heard anybody else teaching. It was an amazing day. I couldn't believe it. One day he covered everything. It is so structured. I learned so much at this event about how to create more sales in my events. With Peng Joon's system, there's nothing left to chance. There's nothing left undone and it's just a step-by-step -step process. He just gave it to us, and the best part is I'm just gonna give it to my team so they can outsource it, so I don't even have to do it. You're literally getting like the Tony Robbins of events when it comes to this, and you guys couldn't go wrong. I'm gonna go in, and I know that I'm gonna change lives now because I have the foundation and the outline to make this happen. This stuff is legit. He's used it all over the entire world. Peng Joon completely over-delivered. I have been absolutely blown away at the sincerity that Ping Jun has. You couple that with a heart to give back, a heart to serve people, and it's like a it's like a perfect storm of awesomeness for people like me. There's hope for all of us that struggle with speaking on stage and um, which I've struggled my whole life with that kind of thing. So it's awesome. This was an incredibly valuable decision that I made. I'm so glad that I pulled the trigger to come here. I mean this with all sincerity. I highly and strongly recommend it. Don't hesitate for another minute. There's lots of people teaching this. Nobody teaches like him. Not only is it worth your time, it's worth your time, it's worth your money, it's worth your effort, it's worth your energy. I am so glad I attended. Thank you, Peng, for such amazing insights that you shared with us. Thanks, Peng Jun, for everything you do. Thank you, Peng. I hope the rest of you guys will seriously consider attending one of his events too. Make it happen. Do it now. It will change your life. Go. 
So what is the takeaway from this video? It's basically this, okay? Is that trading time for money is cool if you have, if you are turning it into an asset that lives on forever. It is not cool if you're trading it straight up, just time for money, okay? So the question you gotta ask yourself is, how can I turn this consulting call into a lead magnet? How can I turn this, this, this thing that I'm doing one-on-one -on -one with my client and can this become a, a, a video or an ad where I can take a snippet or a sound bite that becomes a retargeting ad? Can I take this group coaching call and can I take 20 minutes of it where it was pertinent to a specific part that would be keyword rich that I can put on my YouTube channel so that I can use it as a way to generate leads for me for life, okay? How can you take everything? Can I take this one 25 minute keynote that I'm doing and turn it into a little booklet that I can utilize as a front end free plus shipping funnel, okay? All of my funnels, so this was one of my um, funnels that I did, million dollar ads, there was nothing new to it. All I did was I got my team to compile all of different ads that was lucrative, that made money for us, put in a booklet, put 15 different frameworks to it. So there wasn't anything new. It was already something that we were doing, documenting, just Steve was talking about, and turning it into a digital asset. Okay, so uh, the question is that you wanna be constantly asking is when it comes to implementation, how can you turn this into a digital asset, okay? Um, I always like to showcase different people that have done that specific thing um, that to show you that it actually works. Uh, so this is Molly who turned her photography business. Um, she is in, she's in one of our coaching programs and this is what she did when she took what she was doing into a digital asset. And I have seriously taken so many webinar trainings and I was like, do I really need another one? Am I actually going to learn something new with this? Like I was super hesitant to sign up and I clicked the button because like I know that paying just adds so much value. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And here's the cool thing. I was able to crank out a brand new webinar start to finish in one night. Um, he makes it so easy easy, done for you, simple. Um, he gives you the actual templates to follow and then a video that you play and pause as you go with each slide. And I was able to crank out my webinar presentation in just one night when normally it takes me, you know, days or weeks to do something like that. Um, and lastly, I was actually able to double my close rate on my last webinar that I did with his strategy, uh, which is huge. Cause like I said, I've been doing webinars for years. So if you're on the fence thinking if you should be taking this or not, the answer is yes. Uh, Peng is one of the absolute best teachers out there. He really genuinely cares about his students, gives tons of value, and you are not going to regret signing up. I'm telling you. So, what can the takeaway here before we move on to number three is how can I take what I'm already doing in my life right now and turn it into an asset that lives on forever?